Okay, good morning, everybody. Once again, uh, good to uh, join you today. Hope our power up finds you well. Sorry, we're a couple minutes late today. Uh, I had started the video and then I touched the camera cord and I don't know what what that did, but lost connection. So we had to restart our power up. And so, uh, man, Monday, I guess that's the way it goes on Mondays. But uh, good morning once again. It is Monday. It is April 17th uh, of 2023. Uh, we've had just a uh, kind of a, tr it was a tremendous weekend, a whirlwind of a weekend. Uh, man, we had a great time yesterday in church and always good to be uh, in the Lord's house. Uh, I'm going to ask if you would, as we get started, to hit that share button and so that others can jump on here live. Uh, and hopefully we can get a few more on here as we get started today. I know we're, we're just a couple minutes late, uh, so I apologize for, for all of that. And as we're kind of waiting, we'll give everybody maybe a, a 20 seconds or so, 30 seconds to get on. Uh, man, we had... Uh, for, uh, Saturday, ladies had a bridal shower and heard that it was a good time of fellowship there. Sunday, uh, kind of a busy day here. We had regular services. We had a funeral on uh, at 2 o'clock as well. Uh, so I want to thank everybody for all the efforts put into this weekend. There's a lot of setup, a lot of takedown, a lot of decorating, a lot of cleaning up, and uh, just a lot of serving and prepping of food and all of that. So I want to thank our church family for all that they did for all of the events this weekend. And thank you so much for your willingness to serve uh, and your willingness to, uh, to just minister to people. And so thank you uh, for that. Now, uh, I'm going to ask if you would to join me in 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter uh, number 1 as we uh, begin a new book study here. Uh, and uh, wanted to, 1 Corinthians was one of the books that was suggested, and so that's what we're going to try and tackle here uh, for our Power Up. We've looked through several books uh, on our Power Up here over the last, uh, I don't know if it's has it been just two years, maybe it's been three years now, uh, we've, we've walked through the book of Psalms, uh, the book of Proverbs, uh, and... Uh, Job uh, as well, and so we. I, I think that's that's it. I don't remember if we've gone anywhere else. So we've had different studies here and there uh, as well. But those are the three books that we've walked through. They've been tremendous blessing, and I hope First Corinthians uh, will be that blessing as well. First Corinthians is a unique book. As we get there, uh, and we note in chapter number one, kind of as we get started. Uh, we note, or actually, let me give you kind of maybe a bit of a uh, some history behind uh, First Corinthians. Here it's the Apostle Paul. We're introduced in verse number one. Paul called to be an apostle. Uh, he is uh, believed to be the human penman uh, of this book, uh, and uh, could probably uh, written at about 55 A.D. Uh, is the is the year in which this was written. And we note the kind of the purpose of it being written here as we look at. Now we're going to jump to kind of two places here as we consider this. But in chapter 1, verse number 11, uh, note where it says, For it hath been declared unto, unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. And so 1 Corinthians is written really to, uh, by the Apostle Paul, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, to correct some of the issues and divisions, contentions that have uh, been happening in the early church, specifically the church at Corinth here, and so that's kind of the purpose of it. And there have been there are several um, terms and themes throughout First Corinthians, I think that are uh, that that we read about. Obviously, some of the key chapters that we would go to First Corinthians chapter thirteen, being that being that love chapter. First Corinthians chapter fifteen. Uh, uh, speaks to the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the importance of it, the history of it, all of that. Uh, and so uh, those are two very significant chapters. Other themes throughout would be, obviously, as we're dealing with, with uh, divisions and contentions in the church, as we read in verse number 11, uh, there has to be much uh, in regards to, in, in 1 Corinthians, about discernment, um, wisdom, 
uh, and uh, just uh, we we actually see here in chapter one sanctification. Uh, so there's a lot of different themes kind of go that, that are mingled throughout uh, the book of First Corinthians. And so I look forward to kind of. Uh, looking into those, flushing some of those out as well. And so we see the purpose. Paul is writing to correct some of the divisions, some of the some of the contentions. Uh, but I kind of want you to know the theme of of the book, uh, what it is that that Paul is trying to to get people to focus on. And that's uh, kind of one of the theme verses is in verse number nine of chapter number one where we read the statement, God is faithful, uh, by whom you were called unto the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And so we see uh, in verse number 9, a very wonderful statement that God is faithful. God is the one that called these individuals. He's the one that saved these individuals. He is the common thread that these individuals have in this uh, first century church. It is Jesus Christ. It is when uh, believers uh, lose sight of Jesus Christ, when we lose our focus, we begin to focus on others, we begin to focus on problems, we begin to, begin to focus on, on things that divide us uh, rather than that which unites us in that being Jesus Christ. And, and, and here in Corinth, People are looking at the issues, the problems. Their focus is not necessarily on Jesus Christ, and so that's where the contentions, uh, the contentions come from. And so that's kind of what we're going to be looking at as we walk through 1 Corinthians, uh, and I am uh, looking forward to it. There are uh, 16 chapters uh, in this book, and, and we'll kind of make our way just as we have before, just kind of methodically walking through each verse, making application as we go, and I'm looking forward to it. Let's look at a couple verses. I know we're already several minutes in, kind of gave you a little bit of the background, the reason uh, for writing, but let's look at the at the greeting here from the Apostle Paul to this to this church in Corinth. Verse number one, okay, Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God. Uh, God's calling upon Paul's life was for him to be an apostle. That was God's will. Uh, and it's interesting to note in the call that the apostle Paul, he had to answer that call. Uh, he was called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ. Okay, that was God's plan and God's purpose for Paul, but Paul had to answer it. That was God's will, and Paul answered that call. You may remember on that Damascus road as Jesus appeared to Paul on that Damascus road, and, and uh, he went to see uh, uh, Ananias and, uh, and, and, all of, and, and all of that. We know the, the history of Paul there in Acts chapter number 9, uh, and... Uh, as we consider that he makes that makes that journey, you know the purpose in that journey. Uh, he was going to persecute believers, and God, Jesus appears before him, confronts him. He goes to to Ananias, where Ananias uh, uh, teaches him and trains him uh, in the ministry. Uh, and, and we note the history there and how exciting that is. He was. He was called by Paul, and Paul followed God's leading and God's will. We look at the end of verse number one. It says, and Sosthenes, our brother. Sosthenes is, is not an apostle here. He is a, a minister. Uh, he is serving the Lord uh, and faithfully uh, serving the Lord. He may be the same Sosthenes that's mentioned in the book of Acts. And I wanted to kind of take you there just to kind of show you who Sosthenes is uh, in Acts chapter number 18. If you want to uh, go there just, just for a moment here, we see Sosthenes here. In Acts chapter 18 and verse number 17 says, All the Greeks took Sosthenes, the chief ruler of the synagogue, and beat him before the judgment seat. And Gaio uh, cared for none of those things. And so we see uh, this Sosthenes here uh, being persecuted for his faith. And this may be the same Sosthenes that's mentioned here in 1 Corinthians chapter number 1. Uh, we're not exactly sure of that, but it probably it probably is. There's not much said about Sosthenes in the scriptures. And so it's important for us to note that, that Paul here uh, has that 
has Sosthenes, it has somebody that serving with him in the ministry, uh, and and that's that's a that's an exciting thing. Uh, I think that's something that's very needed. Uh, we cannot we cannot do ministry alone. And, and I know we've got the Lord with us, and 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 the Holy Spirit guides us. Uh, but it is so encouraging to have individuals that we can count on in the ministry. Uh, and for the Apostle Paul, he's got Sosthenes, who has served faithfully, uh, who's been beaten, uh, and who has, he's been persecuted for the faith, and he's been found faithful, and that's who the Apostle Paul has with him. And so I want to encourage you, hey, we may not be an Apostle Paul, but we can be a Sosthenes. Uh, we, we may not uh, uh, be the, some of us may not be the, the pastor, uh, the under-shepherd in the church, but you know what we can be? is we can come alongside the pastor, we can come alongside the leadership, and we can be an encouragement, and we can be a blessing and a help in the ministry. We find it who Paul is writing to here in verse number two, unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, uh, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus. And so this is coming to the, the Corinthian church, uh, and it's written to believers, those that are sanctified in Christ Jesus. That are those that are called to be saints, we see in verse number two, with all that in every place, call upon the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. And so this book is written uh, to believers, uh, to this church in Corinth. And so much of the, uh, we can make much application for us today because it was written to the church, it was written to uh, believers. Although our, our geography is different, our situations may be different, uh, we are still following the same Jesus. We're still looking to the same Jesus. And some of the same problems that the church of Corinth has, has the, the church of today has. Uh, and so we can make some great application uh, for that. It's written to saints, written to, to the church. Verse number three, we, fought, we kind of come uh, towards the end of the greeting here where it says, Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. So Paul is very gracious in his in his salutation, in his greeting. Uh, and this had to be a difficult thing for Paul because of what Paul has heard uh, about the church at Corinth, because Paul knows what's going on, yet he's still very gracious uh, uh, in his greeting of the church here. And that's, that's to be commended for the Apostle Paul. I would encourage you as individuals, as a church family, to always be gracious. There's, there's always going to be people that... Uh, that we don't necessarily get along with 100% of the time. There's going to be people maybe that drive us crazy. There's going to be people that do things different. And, and we know here in 1 Corinthians, there's going to be people that just aren't right with God. I would, I would recommend that to all people that we extend that graciousness, that kindness, uh, and that forgiving spirit, much like the Apostle Paul has granted here to the church at Corinth. Listen, Everybody in this life is different, uh, and and there are going to be times where we don't agree. There's going to be times when uh, uh, when uh, maybe uncomfortable is the wrong word, where people uh, they rub us the wrong way. We could say that's going to happen, uh, but let's extend grace, realizing that everybody's different, and realizing this that hey, I'm not perfect either. Uh, I've got issues as well. And so just like we we uh, expect people to treat us with kindness and we desire that and, and to treat us with graciousness, we need to treat others in that way. And the Apostle Paul here is right. Is, he's going to talk about some tough things, uh, but he's very gracious uh, in his introduction here. And I look forward to uh, to reading through some of these and walking through some of these issues that this early church has and then making application for us as well, okay? Uh, and so uh, that's uh, where we are uh, going to end for today. Uh, and thank you for being on. Once again, sorry I was a couple minutes late there this morning. Uh, and we'll pick up there our next time together. Uh, let's uh, greet those that are on live. Just a couple of us today. Uh, David, good morning to you. Thank you for watching today. Paula, good morning uh, to you as well. Trust that you'll have a great day today, and it was uh, enjoyed being in church yesterday. Cliff and Karen, good morning to you as well. Thank you for being on. Uh, and Jody, greetings to you. Hope you have a great day. I would encourage you, please like and share 
uh, our, our power up here so that others can jump on uh, and uh, be sure and tell everybody we've started a new Bible study that we're going to be looking through the book of First Corinthians, okay? Lord bless you all. Have a great day, everybody. Oh, let's do this as well. Don't forget some of the events of this of this coming week. Uh, we've got kind of a, a busy next couple of weeks, and so p please be in prayer for our church. Uh, and once again, thank everybody. Thank you all for all of your work yesterday. I would appreciate your prayers once again. I'm going to be heading down to Camp Kobiak here very shortly and uh, going to be a part of a youth leaders conference. Uh, and I'll be, uh, be a part of several roundtables, some group discussions. And so pray for me on that. Uh, and uh, then also I'll be doing a session later this evening uh, in, in, uh, that's entitled Striking a Balance Between uh, uh, youth ministry and family and so uh, pray for me as I uh, as I do that uh, and uh, we'll be doing that today uh, and then also be heading down tomorrow morning tomorrow morning's power up is probably going to be at a different time we'll probably do it earlier in the morning before I head down so I appreciate your prayers uh, for me the next couple of days uh, and then we look forward to Wednesday uh, getting back at it all right so Lord bless you all have a wonderful day be sure and uh, let everybody know that we've started a, a new study here in 1 Corinthians. Uh, Lord bless you.